Hi, it's Wendy Hernandez with Command the Courtroom. In this week's video, I want to talk with you about a question that I got from one of my viewers over the last several days. And in her question to me, she was wondering whether it's possible once a judge has made an order or made a finding about custody, that at some point in the future, that judge or another judge can go and modify the initial finding for custody or about custody. So let me explain that a little more specifically. Say you were in court a couple of years ago and the judge awarded either you or the other party sole decision making over your children. It is possible that years down the road, one parent or the other can go back to court asking the court to modify that decision making arrangement to joint decision making. And the same applies to parenting time schedules. Um, in a case, a judge may make a parenting time schedule where one parent is getting every other weekend, for example. Years down the road, it is possible that the other parent might be given something uh, more along the lines of equal parenting time if, if they ask or if the other parent asks. And what the judge is going to look at is whether there's been a change in circumstances, a substantial and continuing change in circumstances. At least that's the standard in Arizona. Whatever state you're in though, you need to go to your state rules and laws and look at what the standard is in your case. But if you can show the judge that there has been a change in some of those best interest factors, then there is a possibility you could get the judge to change his mind from or her mind from where it was a couple of years ago. As an example, um, Oftentimes, people have custody orders that are entered when children are young. Um, I have one of those cases now where a custody order was entered when a little boy was four years old. Since the time the initial custody order was entered, seven years have gone by and a lot has changed with this little boy. He's grown closer to his father, he's developed some interest and he's um, actively involved in extracurricular activities. He's in school now, he has a lot of homework, there are school related activities that dad wants to be involved in. There are a lot of things that have changed about this little boy's life. In addition to that, since the time that the initial custody orders were entered, father has gotten involved in a serious relationship. He's engaged to be married. Uh, his fiance has a really close relationship with the little boy and she's very involved with his school. She's involved with throwing him birthday parties and the little boy loves her. So these are just a few of the things that have changed that might convince a judge that it's time to up father's parenting time. Now by the same token, don't think just because a judge has made a finding for joint custody that that can't be changed. That can be changed as well. Um, if one parent develops some sort of um, serious drug problem as an example or alcohol problem or gets into trouble with the law, there is a possibility that a court may say, hey, you know, at some point joint decision making or joint custody was in the best interest of the child, but that is no longer the case. So now I'm going to change it and make it sole decision making to one parent or the other. The key is, is to remember that the judge is always going to go back to what is in the best interest of the children. So look at what the best interest factors are that apply to your case. And as a reminder, if you haven't downloaded my best interest checklist yet, go to commandthecourtroom.com where you can download it. In that checklist, I list out almost every conceivable best interest factor that there is that might apply to your case. Make sure in your petition to modify decision making or custody that you are addressing each and every best interest factor that does apply to your case. A judge is not going to change a custody plan or a parenting time plan for a small reason. It really has to be a significant and a substantial reason. So, and, and another thing is, is the judge isn't going to look at just one best interest factor where something has changed and say, oh, this thing has changed, so now we're going to switch around everything. A judge is going to look at uh, the conglomeration of more than one factor or all of the factors that apply in your case. So, in response to my viewer's question about whether a custody order can change, the short answer is, yes, it can change. And what you have to do is look at the best interest factors and see what has changed about each of those as they apply to your case. I hope that helped. Remember to check out commandthecourtroom.com. If you haven't already liked Command the Courtroom on Facebook, go and, and like us now. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube. You'll get an update of my weekly videos. Once a week, I release them on Thursdays. 
and keep watching. If you have questions, send me an email, leave me a comment. I'll do my best to answer them. Until then, until next week, keep on trucking and remember to command the courtroom.